Hi everyone, welcome to e-learning. So today we're going to focus on grade 6 and 7 long division in mathematics. So before we start, what you need to know is what e the terminology for division sums. Now let's look at the number 4,679. We're going to divide that by 34. So basically what this asks is how many groups of 34 make up 4,000? 679. Now you need to know what each number represents. So we look at the first number in the red, which is 4,679. That is called the dividend. Now that is what you are dividing, the, what the number that is being divided. Then if we look at 34, 34 is the divisor. We want to find out how many groups of 34 can make up that whole number. And the last part is the answer, and the answer is called the quotient. Now, you need to know this terminology because in the exam, they can ask you um, solve for the quotient or what is the divisor, or they can ask you in the following um, calculation, which is a dividend. Right, so going to set up this in the long division manner. What we're going to use is we're going to use the clue board method to solve the um, problem that we have here, solve for the answer. So we take this number and we separate it each digit. Now, when we're dividing it, we're not going to look at it as each digit, but we separate it because we want each number to be in its correct place. Like the four is a thousand, the six is a ten, a hundreds, the seven is the tens, and the nines is the ones. And we're going to divide that by 34. Now, the first thing you're going to ask yourself is, what's the closest number we're going to estimate? Remember, you did rounding off earlier on. So we're going to use those rules to estimate. So we're going to say, what number can be very close to divide into this? So we're going to start with 100, okay, because we could make it. Sometimes you will start with 50 if the divisor is bigger than the dividend. But here it, it is smaller, so we're going to use 100. So we're going to say 34 times 100 is 3,400. And we're going to take the answer of 3,400 and we're going to subtract it from the dividend. And we're going to get a, and we're going to say that goes into the number 100 times. We're going to write it in the side so we don't forget. We're going to add all the green numbers lost. When we subtract it, we get the answer of 1,279. Right, now we're going to solve again. We're going to ask, we're going to divide again. How many groups of 34 can go into 1,279? So we're going to use our clue board, which is multiplication. So we're going to divide, we're going to halve the 100. Let's see if that works. We're going to say 34 times 50. And the answer is 1,700. And we say, oh, oh, no, we have a problem. So we're going to estimate and we're going to go less. And we're going to guess now. So let's try 30. So we're going to say 34 times 30 is 1,020. That's pretty close to it. So let's try and use that. So we're going to subtract it from that number. And we get our on. We say that it goes 30 times. Don't forget to write it in the side. And we get our answer of 259. Now, we can't use a tens anymore because this is quite small. So we're going to try seven. Let's try, okay, now let's try five. We say 34 times five. That goes 170 times, but 170 is too little. So we're going to go a little bit higher. I'm going to say 34 times seven. And that is 238. And that's pretty close to 259. And that goes seven times. Then we're going to subtract. We left with a remainder of 21. Now, all you have to do is to add all the green numbers in the side. That's 100 plus 30 and 7, which gives you an answer of um, 137 and we take that and write it in the place of the quotient which is on top and we say 137 and don't forget your remainder which is 21 excuse my voice it's going sorry right so now we're going to try 
dividing three di four digits by three digits. So we're going to set up our division sums, but now this time we're also going to start with a hundred. Oh, sorry, this time we're going to start with a ten because it's three numbers and divide and the dividend is only four numbers. So doing a hundred, it's going to be thirty-four thousand six hundred. So we're going to try with ten. So when we multiply it by ten. The 3,460 is pretty close, so we're going to subtract it. We're going to write how many times it goes, which is 10 times. We get our answer, and that 1,219 is our answer. So we're going to find how many groups of 346 goes into this number. We go back to our clue board and we multiply it by 5, and we see that what the answer is 1,000. 730 and that number is too large so we're going to go down we're going to guess and we're going to try and use th we're going to use three and this our answer we get is 1038 we're going to subtract it from that number we're going to write in our side how many times it goes it goes three times when we subtract we left with an answer of 181 so we're going to estimate and guess again and we cannot multiply. Why? Because 181 is less than 348. So no number is going to go into that. So we're going to add up all the green numbers. And we left with 13. And our remainder is 181. And we write that in our uh, at the top where the quotient place is. And our answer is 13 remainder 187. What most children do is that they write 13 and they forget to write the remainder. Please make sure in the quotient column you write the remainder as well. And the remainder must always be less than the divisor. Right, hope you understood. Good luck with your studies. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in my next video. Bye, everyone.